Hello, my name's Ty Hedrick, and I'll be telling you about our recent study of hawk moth flight in tornado-like whirlwind vortices, where we used a three vortex intensities in a whirlwind chamber to see how the moths uh, control their flight under these challenging circumstances, and how flapping microwear vehicles might do the same. So you can see here that the moths have a graded response of body and wing motion to the whirlwind intensities. The principal corrective action is best viewed from below, where you can see that the moths have an asymmetric left-right change in the long axis twist angle of the wing, and that provides the torque that's necessary for the moth to stabilize against this continuous vortex flow. It's causing it to twist in the air. Of course, our device can push the moths beyond their capabilities at the highest intensity we often saw the moths fail to maintain stability and crash. So in summary, the moths are able to maintain flight stability in these challenging circumstances with a suite of left, right, symmetric, and asymmetric wing changes to wing motion, uh, but principally the long axis wing rotation angle.